Hey, it's Dale with the Web Hub class, and I want to walk you through the process of setting up a subdomain on the Bluehost uh, server. So, uh, again, with Project 3, we're going to be doing it as a subdomain, not necessarily just adding the folder to your public HTML. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you that process now. First thing you'll want to do is log into your Bluehost account. So, make sure you do that properly and once you're logged in it's a really simple real simple process so we're gonna go right here to domains and then we're going to go to subdomains and Bluehost is taking quite a while here okay so this is the main box we need right here so we're we're good with that here's my project 3 folder so again remember you want your subdomain to be whatever your project is about. So um, I would do a hiking site. So you will notice that it is now telling you that it's going to look for hiking in your public HTML folder. So stop and think about the logic behind this for a minute. You've created a hiking dot, uh, whatever your URL is, mine would be hiking dot daleblastinggame.net, your subdomain will be whatever your new site is about. So if it's about running, if it's about politics, I don't care what it's about, but you will determine the name of your subdomain. For me, it would be hiking. So my name, the site will be hiking.daleblastinggame.net. Um, it is going to look in the public HTML folder for a folder called hiking. Now you can change this but I don't recommend it because you want to be um, consistent throughout. If you go ahead and change this, then when you go to make changes to your hiking site or whatever your new site is about, uh, it's not going to be as easy to remember where that is. So if you keep it simple and have it as hiking, um, you should be good to go. So what that means is I'm going to need to go over here to Project 3 and change the name of that to hiking before I upload it to my public HTML. So I would go ahead and hit create here. And then I would just go back to my C panel and uh, you can go ahead and log out. Uh, make sure you hit create there. And then it's just a matter of going to fetch and uploading this entire folder to your public HTML. And when that happens, your subdomain is created, your hiking folder or whatever your folder is going to be called will be in the public HTML folder and you should be good to go.